What's up folks, this is Kenny in here in North Little Rock, Arkansas, uh, doing kind of a video of updates on events that matter to you, uh, mainly political stuff. Uh, I just spent most of Labor Day weekend kind of hanging out, uh, especially on Saturday. Uh, I saw the movie Operation Finale where, they, where the Israelis grabbed that Adolf Eichmann guy uh, down there in Argentina. This is something that needs to happen to more government officials. First one, folks, to, and uh, Labor Day weekend, I just kind of spent doing mainly yard work. I just got done a whole bunch of it earlier today. Uh, I want folks to like and subscribe to this channel on YouTube and on Keep Arkansas Legal. YouTube, Keep Arkansas Legal. Gab.com, Keep Arkansas Legal. It's an alternative to Twitter. On Twitter, I'm Kenny underscore NLR. On Facebook, I'm Kenneth Wallace. Why it's occasional live stream events. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, Jeremy Hutchinson, who was apparently indicted over the weekend. Uh, he is uh, he was the Arkansas Senator for District 33. He's a Republican. He's also the nephew of our current Governor Asa Hutchinson. And Jeremy was indicted on multiple counts of uh, fraud and uh, involving campaign finances. Uh, he's one of the several state legislators who are a Republican, but also part of the what I call the, the deep state, the swamp, the powers that be, whatever you call them here in the state of Arkansas. And of course, he supported Medicaid expansion. Uh, he sabotaged efforts in you know, campus carry. I was actually in the room and filmed some of that. I'll actually post some links to some of that video. I have a picture of one of his efforts where he was actually opposed to the ethics reform attempt done by Leonard Collins Smith in the last legislative session. Uh, and yeah, he's been an overall problem. So it, it, it's, it's good for government that he's gone. It's good for we the people that Jeremy Hutchison has been forced to resign. Uh, I've actually called the Eastern District of Arkansas to get a, 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 to find out why this was released on April Day weekend and not, I don't know, months before or maybe during the primary or you know some t some other time where he could have been replaced. But and I didn't get a response. So anyway, uh, that's just kind of update on that. A big dossier came out about a lot of. Uh, about a 500 pages of things that he's done. Um, of course, he was a supporter of Issue 1, which is a, an issue I'm going to talk about. Um, there's a website called Protect Arkansas Families. They have several events here in the state. I'm actually going to mention them later on as I kind of go through the list of events. But you can go to their website where they have a list of events to go to and attend. Um, the big thing I wanted to talk about that's coming up is the event, annual event of Hold Their Feet to the Fire. Hold Their Feet to the Fire is a uh, annual event done by the Federation for American Immigration Reform, and it highlights the issue of illegal immigration. Uh, a bunch of basically, it's a bunch of radio show hosts who go to Washington D.C. They go to the state capitol and they talk about this issue and they try to get these uh, congressmen and other officials and, and celebrities and and experts to talk about this issue. Um, illegal immigration has been thrust back into the spotlight yet again with a crime. Of course, a Molly Tilbit who was murdered by someone who should have never been here, uh, hired by the cowards at YRB Farms who need to be shut down, raided, and Eric Lang, the owner of that facility, needs to be jailed for negligent homicide. Uh, the same thing has happened here in Tyson Foods and here in Arkansas. And I, I always bring you back here to a local level. Here in Arkansas, we've had a lot of politicians on both sides sides of the aisle really uh, for the most part be cowards on this issue. Uh, my first foray in the, in the really political activism was defeating in-state tuition for illegals, which was proposed by then Governor Mike Huckabee, who would also later set up, help set up the Mexican consulate, violating several rules in order to do so. That consulate is issuing IDs to illegal aliens, and the next uh, drunk that kills your kid uh, could be getting an ID and as well as on the welfare rolls because of that consulate. We've also had mobile consulates here from Guatemala. Uh, El Salvador, I think, has had a mobile consulate here once. Uh, the the Guatemala consulate is going to was hosted by a church called Amboy Baptist in North Little Rock. Um, um, I posted a little bit of uh, audio of that because I just happened to see that we'll go into another event. I'll be a little more organized and trying to film that later on. And of course, Democrats uh, uh, have also curtailed the illegal immigration too. Uh, the guy running for Congress, uh, Clark Tucker, was asked to shoot who he abolished ICE. He basically gave it a, a, 
an opinion of I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know what it is when asked about that. Uh, I mean, the guy's running for Congress. He's already been a state legislature for years. Uh, and that should be a simple yes or no uh, on whether or not to abolish Immigration Customs Enforcement, uh, which a lot of the leftists want us to do. And, of course, on a local level, a lot of these cities and, and universities have, have become de facto sanctuary cities, even though they don't officially state it, because if they officially state it, people will wake up and realize what's going on. But the city of Little Rock's been... Uh, accepting uh, Mexican IDs for various services. Um, we just had a club here called Club Troy, which was caught issuing, uh, giving underage uh, kids drinks, and now was, uh, is involved in human trafficking. And they've been given a de facto pass by the city, as well as, of course, our local media, um, which seemed more concerned about uh, the, the status of the illegal aliens than actual uh, what these poor kids have been going through. But anyway, on to other events uh, that you can participate in, into. As mentioned before, Issue 1 is a so-called tort reform bill uh, that's been put on the ballot for November to folks to vote on. There will be debate on that on Thursday, issue uh, September 6th. Um, it will be at the Saline County GOP headquarters in Benton, Arkansas, and Main Street. Basically, if you go to the Benton County Courthouse, it'll be one of the buildings right there. I think it's on Main and Market, but it's like right there in the area. Type in Saline County GOP headquarters, and you'll be able to find it. Uh, it's, it is a Facebook event, so you can go there and invite others. Uh, oh, hold their feet to the fire, by the way, is Wednesday, September 5th, and Thursday, September 6th. So you can listen to the radio and then watch me as I live stream this event. Uh, let folks know about this kind of stuff because it is affecting them. Um, and it's stuff that you won't hear in the national news. September 8th is supposed to be a bunch of events. Uh, Patriots at Act 74 Census go to hold a lunch at American Burger Center in Melbourne, Arkansas. That's way up northeast Arkansas of that area. This is also a Facebook event, so if you type in Patriots of Act 746 Arkansas, Northeast Arkansas Chapter, you'll be able to find them. Also, September 8th, Liberty Fest. It'll be a, a, basically a libertarian picnic at Moorhart Park off of Mayville Cutoff Road. Starts at 11. I don't know how long it's going to go to. Um, so I may go to that and it goes some other event later on. Um, well, September 10th, Democrat Jared Henderson and Libertarian Mark West will debate uh, on KTV Channel 7 for the race of Arkansas governor. Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson has declined the debate. Uh, of course, it will do be a debate, not a forum where folks can, uh, not a real town hall where they have two microphones and audience members can ask questions. I really, that is really the best format to have in terms of finding out what's actually going on in the world. And the media and the, the powers that be have seen to get, got rid of that format. Um, but anyway, that's something that you, that will be live stream on Facebook. Uh, and October 7th, Sunday, Family Council is going to be part of the annual life chain where uh, pro-life activists hold out signs at busy intersections. I've participated in this, I think, the year before last, where I just held out a sign there. Anyway, subscribe to Keep Arkansas Legal for media updates and important issues. Like, share, and comment on this and other videos on account. Uh, you can... Visit my GoFundMe page, Record Arkansas Events, uh, where I talk about this and other issues. That's about it. Um, i got to rest up and get to my non-political job tomorrow, and then uh, if there's any other events, let me know.